This is a simple example that illustrates a way that a sample can be biased. Here, a coach is interested in how many cartwheels the average college freshman can do at his university. Eight volunteers from the freshman class step forward. After observing their performance, the coach concludes the college freshman can do an average of 16 cartwheels in a row without stopping. Is this sample random and representative? In general, a good sample is random and representative. A simple rule of thumb for deciding whether a sample is random or not is just to think about whether or not every member of the population is equally likely to be selected. If so, there's randomness involved. To decide whether or not the sample is representative, think about whether the sample looks similar to the population. Here, the biggest source of bias that we observe, and bias means that the results will be skewed, is this voluntary response bias. Voluntary response bias means that rather than picking people to ask, the coach asks for volunteers. In this case, people that are able to do more cartwheels are more likely to step forward and volunteer for the study. Because of that, we conclude that this probably isn't a very good sample to do this study. A voluntary response bias also comes into play in surveys that have questions where certain responses are more favorable than others.